Remember the old book I told you about? I went and dug it out of a box at my padre's place. I want to try and find something. And you need a driver. And I need a driver. Yeah, bien. Head for Las Barrancas. I'll explain on the way. So, what are we looking for? My favorite book is called El Camino de Sidney Wolverstone, about an explorer who traveled Mexico 200 years ago. In her book, she describes these Atlantis she found, giant statues. But there aren't supposed to be any of those near here. Giant statues? From an old book? <laughs> that aren't supposed to exist, yes. I've been piecing together clues from the book. Do you think you can get this car right into the river at the bottom of the Copper Canyon? <laughs> you really don't know me very well. That is incredible. How has no one ever found this before? Okay, we'll check out El Arco de Cabo San Lucas and see if it matches the book. Let's get there fast. You've read my mind. Huh. Well, the 
Let's get some lunch and try back later in the day. Oh, I told you that was the best place to eat around here. Was I wrong? Aye. <laughs> okay, we need to get going. Can you get us to the beach before the sun sets? You mean outrun the sun? Yep, I think I can do that. Even with the extra helping of Tres Leches. There it is! Right in the sun where the book said. Grab a picture of it. Right, that is freaking me out. It's right there. How did we miss it? The shadows were really deep just here earlier. Maybe we just didn't see it? But now I really want to see if we can find any more of these mysterious statues. All right, let's get going. The sun's setting, but we have enough time to get there along the beach. I'm excited. Do you think we'll find it? To be honest, I don't know. But I'm getting the sense that there's more to Mexico than meets the eye. Also, a, uh, I can't think of the word, a botanista? A botanist, a natural historian, and a pretty decent artista. You want to talk about Las Maravillas de Mexico? Just read about her life.
scene. The design doesn't seem entirely acid, but it does remind me of Tlaloc, the rain god. <laughs> this is amazing. I'll work out where the next one should be and give you a call. Ooh. Where does the trail lead from here? South and inlet. I'm sure of it. I'll be in touch. There it is! Right in the sun where the book said. Grab a picture of it. Okay, mira, escucha. Listen to this. El pueblo de Muleje, un oasis tranquilo. If she made it to Muleje, the expedition must have traveled upriver. I still can't believe this. I used to take the book to mi escuela, and my teachers told me Lady Wolverstone's adventures were as fictional as Pedro Baramo or Sherlock Holmes. So she never got any credit? Never asked for any. She said she was writing stories for her grandchildren. But if they're true, her story deserves to be told. And you and I can prove it. Vamos, tumuleje. Let's go. We can start in the center of town and move outwards. Lady Sydney writes that a local bruja, a wise woman, said the statues were only visible on certain days in the rain because they are statues of Tlaloc. I still think it's the trees hiding it. But call me when you work out the next location, okay? Uh -huh. Ready to head for Agua Azul? Eso bien. We might get a little wet. Hmm. I'll keep the windows closed. Okay, okay, a ver. Okay. Uh, let me translate this part. The cool waters of Agua Azul quenched our thirst and inspired our hearts. In the heart of the blue water is where we found them. Then, are we looking for more than one statue? In the heart of the blue water. What does that mean, Alma? Oh, so, so the question is, why was the diary of Lady Sydney Wolverstone published as a fiction? She was really here. She she really had aventuras all over Mexico. Maybe she didn't want to be famous. Or maybe she didn't think anybody would believe her. Muy bien. Keep heading west. Muy bien. Ahí estás. Eh, we'll turn off the road near the waterfalls. Lo reconozco. Okay, we're getting close now. The waterfalls get their name from the bright blue water. The name literally means blue water waterfalls. It has to be the place. Well, if video games have taught me anything. <laughs> It'll be behind the waterfall. Claro, come on.
Oh, the pictures are good. And you know, having pictures means no one can doubt us if we can find the statues again. I found more of Lady Sydney's papers, original drafts of El Camino. She made pencil sketches of formations that I recognize in the Valle de las Ranas, and she sketched one of the statues. Lead the way. Okay, okay, so, uh, they had a fantastic creatures carved in rock, uh huh, and she found the statue early one morning. And get this, it was after a rainstorm. And this is another statue of Tlaloc. That is interesting. Let's see if we can find it. El Valle is east of Guanajuato. Mira, let's go. Valle de las Ranas means Valley of the Frogs, though I always thought the stones looked more like fantastical creatures. And Lady Sydney did too. She got sketches in her book. Imagínatelo, imagine it. Explorers like Lady Sydney came all this way with nothing but ganas y un gran amor for the wilds of Mexico. She sounds like someone I know. <laughs> yes, yo? I shoot cars for the festival. You do all the work. And my ride is a lot faster than her wagons, no? <laughs> we have slightly more than one horsepower. I know, I suppose reading El Diario is one of the reasons I became una fotógrafa. I wanted to capture the same belleza she did. Today, the Valle de las Ranas is one of the most visited natural wonders in Mexico. Lady Sydney definitely knew a marvel when she saw one. But the guidebooks don't say anything about a Tlaloc statue here. Mira, mira, I cross-referenced the final pages of the book with all the other papers I could find and... It's Egg Palam. It has to be. Lady Sydney Wolverstone's expedition headed south to Egg Palam. Egg Palam was only properly studied in the 90s, but we know very little about it, actually. In fact, researchers are divided on exactly how much of what we know about the Toltecs is historical and how much is Aztec legend. So why are we going to Egg Palam and not Tula? Wolverstone's book doesn't call it Ekbala, of course, but she describes a large group of buildings, perhaps 20 or more, and a large oval palace. <laughs> and listen to this, three large statues of the sort I have found in other places. Three? I'm pretty sure I only saw two. No, that's not all. She also wrote the third largest of them in the same stone I have come to recognize laid to the south of the complex, only barely visible, in the driving rain. Let's get there before the rain stops then.
seen the end. <laughs> It's been fun, though I do feel like there should have been treasure at the end of it. Well, maybe... The treasure was the friends we made along the way? Aha, uh -huh. you said that, not me. <laughs> so that's that. There is one more thing. According to the book, Wolverson took a jade statue from the site, but lost it in the flash flood. I'll try and work out where that was. I'll call you as soon as I know. Now I'm intrigued. Call me, yeah? Ah, there you are. So I worked it out. Remember that flash flood? She was near an abandoned church along a river. And that has to be the Temple of Quechula. Andale, vámonos. Drive. Head for the temple at Quechula. Lady Sydney has one more marvel to show us, and you're gonna show me how a Hall of Famer drives, no? Wasn't the temple at Quechula flooded? I didn't bring my snorkel. Hi, <laughs> que chistoso. Quechula is located on a floodplain, but after a long dry season... The temple is accessible. I take it back, let's go. down into that presa. See it? on the church. Oh, yeah, qué rápido. This church is 500 years old. It was built in the hopes that it would become the center of an important city, but never did. In 1966, the dam was built and the whole area flooded. This is amazing, like a final chapter of the book I never got to read as a girl. I, I hate to say it, but it feels like this belongs in a museum. I agree. But you know, it won't be visible unless you go see it at exactly the right time. <laughs> you don't believe that, right? <laughs>